Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Come on in, let's make something. You know, one of the reasons I bought my CNC machine was so that I can make intricate parts. You know, whether it's box parts or different parts for furniture or whatever. And this is going on the second year of having the Avid CNC machine. And the first year, I pretty much uh, played around just learning how to use the machine. I did I did some V carb signs and you know we cut out some different things and, and then I learned how to do some of the 3D and um, but today we're going to do something special today we're going to we're going to make a, a wine box and we're going to we're not going to use the box gadget we're going to draw all the parts from scratch and I've already spent about a day um, messing around drawing these parts. So I didn't want to bore you with that. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to, now what you see here, I have a piece of MDF. Now what I've done is I've cut out, um, I've cut out 15 inches by five and a half, which is the wood that I'm going to use. And basically what I can do is I can put that wood right inside here without any clamping or anything and be able to cut out these parts. It fits nice and tight. That way I'm not, I'm not worried about my, my spoil board and I can cut out multiple parts. And so the idea is to design stuff. Like right now, I'm, the, what I'm going to show you is a, a three pack wine box that I'm going to create. And I'll show you all the tool paths uh, in, the, in the Aspire software. And then we'll come out and we'll cut it and we'll put it together. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, we're in Aspire software. This uh, is 11.05, the model of the software, and it's made by Vector. Now, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the, the front and the back of the wine box. Now, they're going to be exactly the same, so you only have to do one of these. Now, I've got two tool paths here. I've got, all, and I've got it on layers, so I'm going to shut off the one. And, so this is the profile cutoff. Now this shows the box joints. Now I drew this whole thing using just the polyline up here. Basically I just started at one position and did the dimension and then these these box joints are a half inch by three by 0.75. So I just went down the thing and drew this whole thing with that with that um, polyline. And that's all for that. And I'm using. I'm only going to use one tool to make this whole the whole uh, box, the wine box. All the parts are going to use. I'm just going to use one tool until I do the 3D lid. So right here, you can see I have the. This is the front and the back of the box. They're both going to be the same. And then if you go up here, I'll turn this next layer on. This is the slot that's going to hold the bottom. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a piece of quarter inch plywood that will fit inside here and I'll put one of these slots on all the pieces. So right there you can see that's the front and the back. So I only need to do, I only need one drawing and, and two tool paths. So I'm going to show you these tool paths. So we'll go ahead, there's the slot, the back and front, the front and back slot. So you, I'm just cutting they're both going to be the same, but I just this is so I know what it is when I go to the toolpath. And then if you look here, this is the profile path, and it cuts it out. Now, one important thing, let's click on this profile. Now, so right here you can see cut depth 0.75. I'm using an eighth inch bit. I'm running three passes. Um, I like to be a little careful with my bits, if, especially an eighth inch bit, so I don't I don't want to break it. They're kind of expensive. Now I'm going outside, outside the line. Now here's an important thing that I learned. Allowance offset. On one of the, one of the uh, pieces, I put point, negative 0 0.03. Now what this does is it allows me to, um, it allows these pieces to fit in perfectly. So the back and the front of the box, I put this negative allowance offset. And then the sides of the box, I don't put any allowance offset, and it ends up fitting really nicely. Now right here, 
I do add tabs. You can see a tab there and a tab there. And the reason I only do two tabs in the middle is you'll see when I start putting it together that I can break these out by hand really easy. And then you go down here, it's just going to be everything standard and I just name it back and front profile. So we'll close that. Now we'll click on the slot. Now you'll see I don't want the slot to be very deep. So right up here, cut depth, I got a quarter inch. And all these are going to be the same. And I can do one pass quarter inch pretty easily. So it just goes back and forth a couple times and makes a quarter inch. And I usually do raster. So that so that's basically that's your front and your back of your wine box. And that's pretty easy. So let's close out of there. We haven't made any changes. So now let's go to the side of the wine box. Now the side is a little more difficult. Now we're going to shut these layers off and we'll shut the tools off too and we'll show you each one. So I've got a lot going on with this um, the side panel. Okay, so I have the same size piece of wood so I don't need to keep Zing out. my Once I Z out the first time XYZ I can just put these pieces in and cut them. Now this one's a little bigger than the back and the front because the box is 12 inches by 14 and a quarter. Now right here I'm going to show you the profile of the side. Now you can see the box, um, the box joints are exactly the same but they're opposite. So and then so this is the front of the box up here and the reason this one's fuller is because basically the lid comes all the way out here to the edge and I wanted to be able to have a side of it. So the this this actually now so this is the profile cut and we don't do any allowances we just cut it out. Now right here you can see I've got a slot down here. There's our slot which is the same as the front and the back. It's just on the side. So we'll go ahead so that's just a normal quarter inch cut. So we're going to shut that one off. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. And that's not the right one left. So we have to do two of these. So we got a few things going on here. So in a wine box, you have the bottle that sits in here. So you need a slot that a three quarter inch piece of wood can slide down in here and, and then have a cutout for the bottle and a cutout for the neck. And then this little arch piece right here is so that when the lid, see the lid's going to be up here, when that lid lifts up, it has a way to rotate in this little curved slot. I thought that was a good idea. So right there you can see this is a, a left-hand side, and these are the three things that are going on. So we're going to do this exact thing except opposite for the other side, so it's a matching thing. Now we'll go ahead and I'll show you these tool paths. So right here you have, no. Nope. So right there is the, now this is pocketed out. And this is, um, I believe we put this at 3 8 inch deep. Let's click on there and yeah, 0.375, which is 3 8 So the depth of our pocket is 3 8 of an inch. And we're making two passes for that. So that's that's the one. Now, what I've done here is I did an opposite one. So that's the left side. And I did I did an opposite tool path for when I when I flipped the material over. And right there you can see the opposite one. So we'll shut that one off for now. And then of course you have your um, your pocket. Whoops. Um, Oh, slot. So that so you have so you have these three tool paths, and then you have um, there's the profile. So now what I've done is because it's in the same drawing. So you can see I have three tool paths checked over here, but I've got like five more things, and that's because the other tool paths are for the opposite side. So basically, I did all the tool paths in the same drawing for both sides. And you can see, let's go ahead and preview this so I can show you what it looks like. Preview. 
Actually, I should have done. Let's do that again. Let's close. Yeah, it's previewing all the toolpaths, so that's not that's not good. Let's reset that. So we're going to have this left side. We're going to have the slot. And then we're going to do, let's see if this is the right profile. Nope. Profile right. OK. So this is, this is what one side is going to look like. Let's go ahead and preview visible. And there it is. So you can see it makes this notch, and then it cuts out the whole thing. Now, it looks a little confusing, but basically, you can see if you turn this sideways a little bit, you can see where the plywood's going to slot in here, and then you have your other pieces that are going to slot in here. Okay, so that's the side, and that's basically both sides. I have to do two opposite sides like that. That's why I have so many tool paths over here. So now let's, let's check out of there. And we're going to go over here. And the other thing we got to cut out is our, our next support. So we have four different files for this. So right there, you can see I've got a big circle and then a small circle. And if you go over to the toolpath, you can see I have three, I have three toolpaths, which is the large cut, the small cut, and then the profile cut. And basically, I can use one drawing and just save all these toolpaths and just switch the wood out and be able to cut that out. So that's the third file. So we'll shut that off. Now we're going to do our 3D lid. Now this lid was fun. I actually, um, so I designed this lid. I have not seen a wine box that had 3D grapes on it. And I kind of learned a lot when I was doing a lot of signs and stuff for people. And so I thought it'd be fun to um, to do this these grapes. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's preview all. There's the roughing tool path, the finishing tool path, and then this outside. Now, I didn't end up doing the outside on the, on the CNC machine. The reason being is I had no way to clamp it down good. But I did do the 3D carving and I didn't get a video of that actually. I made a mistake and I did all the cutting and filming of all the pieces, but I forgot to do this part. And that's it. So you have you have basically um, the front and the back, you have the sides, you have the, the parts that hold the bottles, and then you have the lid. And let's get out there and put this thing together and see how it turns out. For almost the whole project, I'm using this 46176-K. It's an eighth inch downcut Spectra bit by Amana. And I use that for the whole project. Except for the 3D carving on the top. And I do use this bit for the roughing tool path, but I use a ball nose for the finishing pass. Right here, I start out by cutting the pocketing tool path on the sides. And this is basically the biggest tool path of them all is on, the, on both the sides. And you can see it cutting out that arch for the, for the lid and then the two slots for the, for the bottle holders. Next up was to cut the slot for the bottom of the box.
Next up was the profiling toolpath. And this actually goes quicker than, yeah, this is real time actually. Next up was to cut the circles out for the bottle holder. And this is obviously the large part of the bottle. Makes about three passes. Next up was a little profiling toolpath for this part. Once all the parts were cut, it was time to just pop them out of their pop them out of their little molds and clean them all up. Right here I'm using my Jesm router lift with an eighth inch flush flush bit and I adjust it to basically trim off any excess on these parts. Once all the parts were cleaned up, it was time to cut the bottleneck and the bottle body holder, cut them down the middle. And basically I used my table saw to do that. And then I used the band saw to cut the little tabs out. I then run these through the JESM router lift and clean these up. Once all the parts were clean, I put it all together and glue the all four sides with the bottom in and I clamp it overnight. The next day I get it unclamped and I proceed to clean it all up. After it's all cleaned up, I get the bottleneck and the body of the bottle and get ready to insert these parts. I lost the rest of the assembly video, but here's the finished product. I hope you liked the video and thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Later. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, please make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing.